are going to be found in uh, water different from where you're going to find the average 10 to 12 inch rainbow. You want to look for structure and deeper water, woody debris, rocky points, um, even docks that are going to provide cover for big fish and bait fish alike. If your local lake or your reservoir draws down, then you can get a chance in the winter time and in the late fall to walk it and find out where those um, best places that are that are going to hide a big fish. But uh, we're fishing Crane Prairie Lake for big rainbows with uh, our guide Scott Cook from Fly and Field Outfitters in Bend. Scott knows this water very well. He's he fished here for most of his life. And what's interesting, what's different about fishing for rainbows here is you're not using the big bait fish type imitations that we may use in other waters to target big fish. These fish get really, really big on tiny um, bugs and uh, primarily coronamids. In some waters, coronamids make up to 40% of the um, diet of a big trout. And so what we'll do is we'll target them with uh, an indicator and then two flies, one rig to be just off the bottom and the other rig to be 16 to 18 inches up. If there's nothing else going on, you can bet that the fish are going to eat a coronamid. On Crane Prairie, the trick is finding the old river channels. And as the average lake temperature warms, the, these fish move into these cooler river channels and use them as highways to move around. And the funny thing about using the strike indicator, some people think it's a boring way of fishing. I think it is one of the most exciting ways to fish because you're watching this little cork indicator out on the water. If it moves even a fraction of an inch, that is something you need to set the hook on now because that fish could be 10 inches long. It might be 10 pounds. Go. Good, one more. Just wait on that back cast. One more. Good. Nice. Perfect. So that's the idea of setting these things at about, you know, 12 inches to say a foot to two feet off of the bottom is where these flies are sitting and they're sitting there down there doing this. And that's exactly what the what the real real bug is doing. And they're totally suspended there until they take them. Sometimes the biggest fish are the softest takes. So there you go, get him. That's right, that's the way. Keep stripping. Oh, a good fish. Oh, good oh man, fish. that is when a good runs, fish. When he runs, let him run. Just oh, let that line boy. go out of your hand that's when he exactly runs. That's exactly what we're after here. Put a little more pressure on him, bring him to the surface. <laughs> yeah, let him run, let him run. Let him run. <laughs> bring him up, rod tip all the way back behind your head. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And there he goes, good. Do that again. Rod tip all the way up, back behind your head. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. That's what, what we're here for. Yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's worth, dude. Jeez.